So this bottle attachment, it is a game changer. But look how easy this is to carry around now. A little heavy when it's full of water on the end, but look at that, one-handed. Bloody love it. I'm cleaning my whole house with this now. I'm off, I'm just gonna do the lot. I love that. So if you want portable, this is the kitty. That's the one. Love it. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing here of the um, Inco pressure washer. This is cordless pressure washer. And I've been wanting to try one of these for quite a while now. Um, there's a few different models obviously about, but since I've already got the battery system for the Inco, um, I thought I'd give this one a go. There's two different versions you can get of this one. You can get the you can get the version that comes with comes with the battery and charger in the box, or if you've already got a battery and charger like I have. So I already had this obviously from having the cordless orbital sander. Um, I didn't need the battery and charger which obviously say is, is a bit cheaper saves you a bit so i'll leave the two different links down in the bottom of the uh, description towards the uh, both of them and uh let's open this up i'm not gonna spend too much time on opening this up because let's face it most people want to see it getting used rather than uh what a bit of cardboard looks like so i'll open it up actually need to flip it over here's the box we have a manual Nobody reads them. It's quite a, the handle's quite a small little device. It's got your safety button, water inlet, and uh, yeah, it's not too heavy, it's not too much weight to that. Um, then we've got, this is gonna be our soap bottle, so you can add this on the end to add some soap to the, uh, dispenser you've got your long cable this is to throw in your bucket because it, it works by um, you don't need a water supply it doesn't need to be attached to a hose pipe this is why I, I'm keen on it because one of my I do love a jet wash and I have got a AA branded it's basically a cheap karcher um, but I always get tangled up in the mains wire and the hose pipe, which is a pain in the ass. So with this one, you're not gonna need the mains wire. You're not gonna need the hose pipe. You've got a nice long reel of a tube that you can throw in a bucket or whatever container. This is the attachment that goes on the end for the, the soap. So you can put some soap on there to spray over the car or whatever you're washing. We'll look at that one, I'm not even sure what that one is at the minute. Uh, I'm gonna guess, I'm not even gonna guess because I don't know. And then, um, it's just a mesh carry bag, so you don't have to keep taking the box around with you. You stick everything inside this mesh carry bag, and then, um, yeah, you stick that in the boot of your car, wherever you wanna keep it. It's all self-contained then, so, Right, stick that back in the box. And then uh, we've got the attachment, the, the spray end, which has got, I believe it is six, yep, six, di six different settings on it. So you've got zero, it does angles, which is really handy. You can use it to go underneath the wheel arches of your car, or if you're short and you wanna wash the top of the car, it'll, you can get it to spray down. So you've got a zero, it's got up, it's got a sort of, um, light shower or it's a sort of sprinkle so it doesn't it's not actually got so much power uh you can just it's a, you could do even water plants with using that uh you've got 40 degrees 25 degrees 15 degrees and then you're back to your zero so that just twists and if you, if you can hear that it just locks into position there's obviously a ball bearing in there there's a clicking that into position so this should just attach to the um to the end i'm gonna guess it's usually on a spring yep so that just pushes in spring loaded attached in there this is going to be the attachment that goes in our bucket so we can just 
usual standard uh, hose connection. Pop that on there. And then uh, battery, fully charged. It says this does 15 minutes of washing time on a full charge. This is the two amp hour battery. Uh, so you should could be to, you could get bigger batteries and get some more time out of it or stock up on a couple of extra batteries. Um, batteries obviously where quite a lot of the cost is these days. Uh, but you don't need a hose, you don't need power wire, so generally speaking that's it, you've got everything there self-contained. Um, and then what, how this works is you, you take the end off, put your soap in there, screw that on, and then you basically you take, 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 this, take the end out and you put this in line, in, the, in line, and that'll just suck up the soap as it goes. So, I do need to look at what this one is, as I do not know. So, let's have a look at that. But that is everything you've got there. Like I say, you can throw it all in the bag. It's easy to carry, you can keep that in the boot of your car. Here's the end. I've got a full bucket of water down here. So I'm just gonna throw that into the bottom of the bucket. times doesn't even use much of that so this is my recycling little recycling bin that all the cat food empty cat food containers go in and if you could see in there it is full of uh, gravy so let's give this a wash out That is nice and soapy. Happy with that. Right, let's switch this end over, get some water going, give this a wash down. So it's gonna literally be, twist it, put, push it in to release the spring, twist it so that comes off. Let's get the other end and we can uh, stick that on there. Now I've got the other end, the spray end. Get that, same again twist it in we've got it on zero at the minute so we're going to go through i'll try all the different settings on the end there see what we come up with uh, so let's try it on the zero angle let's see if we can get these stickers off the bottom yeah we can yeah that's crazy off So zero is just, just sort of standard. We've got up, let's try that. Oh, that is up. And if you can see that, look at that. Put that in front to show you. That's basically, you're gonna be using that underneath your wheel arches. Then we go on to the sprinkle mode. Oh yeah, look at that. That's just like a little sprinkle hose. You could water your, you definitely water your plants with that, or a little qu quick pre-wash down. Then we've got 40 degrees. Uh, so it's 40 degrees wide of the wide angle. Pretty decent. It's also, look, I don't know if you can see the height of the water there. It hasn't gone down much yet, which is good. Let's go 25. 25 is a pretty good angle. I'll see if I can get some shots of this closer. Then we've got the 15. So a much narrower. 15 degrees is much narrower. But I think personally, I'd be sticking with the zero to get the most power out of it. And uh, let's try and get this little bit of gravy off down in here. Bit of splashback. So there's that.
so I will say it doesn't it's convenient it's very handy and convenient this would be excellent for washing down a uh, tip it down a bit this would be excellent for washing down like your mountain bike your outside garden furniture I do like this sewing attachment that works nice twist it push it in twist it back so we can get that on there That works very nice. Take that back off. And then what we can do is we pop this in. Whereas on this, we don't really need for power. Power's not really what we're after. So we can switch it around to a, we can switch it around here to the 40 degrees. So you literally just twist it. You got zero, just twist it all the way around to the, so you can come back. You could use the little sprinkler one. That's, that's like a real gentle wash down. Well, if we come back to the 40 degrees. That works nice. So I don't know if you can, how well that's picking that up on the camera. That's the 40, 25. 15 then we've got zero which obviously got the most power in it we've got up literally just goes all over me and then we've got the uh see that that's just like a mild sprinkle so yeah it's very handy with the bucket system Get me a nice sanitized uh bin. So yeah, here it is. This is the Inco Tools pressure washer. It's a nice little device. Probably might want a bigger battery. Let's see what we've got on that now. Oh we're still registering still registering at three five three bars on there. Um Let's try the hose on it. Let's just see if the if the pressure increases if we stick the hose on it rather than the uh, bucket. So I've attached it to my hose, as you can see. This is um I haven't used their attachment. This I've already got the attachment on it. Let's stick it straight onto the hose. Um, hose is on. It isn't unreeled. Probably should unreel it all, but it does give you a bit more power. You get a bit more power using the the um the pressure of the hose coming through it as well. You should, I don't know if you can hear that. But there is more power to it once it's using the hose system. Yeah, it's definitely some more extra, extra oomph. Let's get it onto the 40 again. So you've got the option you've got the option to stick the hose on it and to be honest with you because you haven't got the power cable because you're not using the power cable with that as well you're not going to get so tangled up you could just reel that out and you can hold that easily in your one hand you ain't got to worry about running that an extension lead um and that this would be ideal for washing your car all that sort of thing i'd like to say my only my only uh negative would be probably if, if you're someone that wants to pressure off your patio and get all the old dirt and grime on it i don't think it would have the power to get off the really hard dirt and grime okay so i'm not gonna lie i've got a bit carried away with this tool now <laughs> being how how easy it is to move around I've literally, uh, I've been a bit carried away and I've been going around everything with it. I've been cleaning around my gutters, around my drains. And I was, I was actually a bit wrong because it, where my table's been moved, you can see there was dirt from the legs of it. And uh, it does actually get the dirt off.
can you see the difference there? Can you see that? See that? I was too, I, I was jumping to conclusions, look at that. This is very addictive. Might just be taking this around the entire place. Job done. Now I don't know how well you can see that, but I've definitely found where this uh, pressure washer shines. It's absolutely brilliant for cleaning off uh, your PVC windows, get over your windows with it, the gutter in, the fascias. Uh, don't know if you can see how dirty that is up there. But I've done this whole stretch here with it and I actually swear the battery lasts I don't know if it's because my battery's really new no, that battery's not had a lot of use just a bit on the orbital sander but I swear it's still got two bars and I've done all of this plus that the video I did for the uh, testing on the little bin but um works brilliantly on, on new PVC probably if I'd have sprayed some of the spray foam on it before I just attacked it with the jet wash that would have uh that would have also brought it up even cleaner but yeah this is where i'm going to be using it cleaning the uh gutter in fascias windows and all, all the outside upvc so i'm well impressed with that if i go over it again but then it shows up just i'll oh, come along you should, should see done haven't coming up to where i haven't done so i haven't done any of this and uh as you can probably see that is filthy uh, but all of the area I've done really nice it's taken on the least all of the uh, worst of the dirt off it that's been on there a long time I have not cleaned these gutter in, and fascias for absolutely years so yeah that's where I'm going to be using it outside UPVC garden furniture all that sort of thing it's going to come in well Andy what you might also like to just see this is everything in the uh this is with it all put back into the bag so you can now just carry that whole thing in that bag everything's in there well apart from the battery in the charger obviously but you know might need that for other things thanks for watching